Hey everybody, I wanted to give a bit of a follow up to um, this whole RAM conundrum thing because I have several comments and questions uh, that I feel just a, a, a follow up bit could answer. And for those of you that are, are just new to this whole topic, please see my uh, previous vid uh, for the context. Anyway, a lot of the questions are revolving around this whole 32 bit to 4 gig. And try to putting it simply, all systems have to map memory to devices. Okay, how it's done uh, is it, done differently in, in some cases, but that doesn't take away from the whole performance of things. In other words, it's not on how having a block, a set permanent block of addressable space versus those that can take any range of addressable space doesn't necessarily mean one sucks over the other, and or one is better than over the other. So basically to say mapped memory we need to index the memory that's coming in from any 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 device all right basically and how if, if we were not even to let's just so we ignore that memory how, how how in other words would it would it even be indexed or, or be able to partake within the system it has to partake in the system so to argue otherwise is just a completely a ridiculous argument to, to basically take it back to the context and saying, oh, well, Windows, um, ha through its loaders going up, has this blocked addressable range. It's always this, it's always this fixed addressable range that can increase, like, I have two video cards. Obviously, I have, to I have to have the other video card map for it to participate, okay? So, it takes up this block. Now, people, uh, that will, I'll just use this to answer the other questions I'm saying, well, how much is mapped out? That also depends on your chipset. There is no set mathematical saying this this amount of memory that needs to get mapped in is, is, is going to get in it because parts of it can also be virtualized and swapped out and there's other, another thing. It's, it, that's another long video um, of which I can do on, on, on systems saying, well, we're going to virtualize this much and make this much available. I mean, OS X also has to do a lot of swapping to handle out the 64-bit requests that come in and it's hybrid situation of 32-bit kernel with 64-bit on top, all these other things. Anyway, so there is no fixed number, guys. It depends on your chipset and all this other stuff. Obviously, Apple ha knows what type of chipset it is running on versus Windows, but Windows relies on, on the loaders going up for the 32-bit purposes, not the 64-bit of which it will use the pretty much the same loaders going on up. Make And then 64-bit shouldn't really be, even be in this discussion anyway. Um, so, to give you an example, because I digressed a bit of going back, let's say we have a fixed block of map memory saying 1 through 10, this is arbitrary, is always used for these, these devices, and then if, we, if something is exceeded, maybe three more are, are, are going to be using that block, okay? To another system that could say 1 through 10 is used now, um, but part of it is no longer used, and then it goes through, it, it basically goes through this garbage process. And then saying, well, m now maybe 1 through 7 is used and also 15 through 17, stuff like that. In other words, making what I would call equal addressable area and not just stuck with blocks of, of, of memory, if that makes any sense to anybody. That doesn't necessarily stipulate one system sucks over the other, okay? Um... They, they just it's just different ways of, of saying this is addressable here for this and well this all is addressable and can be at any point in time the other things are on well my Vista machine sees 4 gigs and all this other stuff and OS 10 sees 4 gigs look reporting to you what is in the banks does not necessarily mean that's what's available to you wired RAM like with an OS 10 uh, of which I will give you links also deals with this whole mapped memory. It has I.O. devices in there, drivers, kernel use, all of that stuff in there. It's not untouchable. But the way in terms of like I was just talking about before and what is permanently blocked or what is addressable and the whole field of addressable range, those things are handled differently. Okay, so it is completely ridiculous again to say one sucks over the other based upon this specific contextual argument. Um, reporting RAM, Vista SP1 and above will always report on a 32-bit level um, 
four gigs. It doesn't necessarily mean that's what's available for math purposes. Same thing with OS X for math purposes. Okay, it, um, they, it's this is you have to you have to map for these things. You have to map for IO devices. It just you're not going to escape it. Things have to be mapped. That's how it participates. All right. So, um, the I, I hope I've answered most of the questions that that I'm getting in terms of, well, how much is taken out is taken out from available, and really, you know, it, it's just. It's just frustrating to say, well, this is well, this much is available for the system in, in terms of performance. I, I would counter argue in saying, well, mapping to my video cards is helping my performance because it's helping the damn thing participate. It, 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 I, I can't I can't stress it enough that that this whole thing of saying, well, this is going to make my system better or faster is is, is completely completely misleading. So um, again, I'm digressing. But I hope I, I, I've, I think I've answered the 32 bit to 4 gigs reporting thereof and what's available uh, and mapped I.O. I'm going to put in uh, links in the description to uh, Microsoft stipulating that it's SP1 and over will simply just report for you 4 gigs and um, the link to OS X's mapped memory and, and, and wired memory. It's swapping for 64 bit so and so forth um, on, on what is virtual RAM and and to physical RAM and how it handles it and the paging and all this other stuff. All right, so uh, if there's more questions, uh, I'll be I'll be happy to answer. And message received on doing a video for uh, buffered and unbuffered RAM. Give me some time to do the graphics and things, and uh, I'll get that video uh, um, up there for you guys. Thanks for watching.